Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and now eBay. Uh, if you're not new, thanks for coming back. It means a lot to me. So the last video I did where I compared uh, a bins trip versus a Goodwill store trip and tried to spend approximately the same amount, um, it, did, it, it was really well received and it had a lot of views and I was really, Pretty happy about that because I think it's something that a lot of us are interested in of which is better as a sourcing option, what might you find in one versus the other. Obviously it varies by location, but I shop in the same location for the most part, so that comparison is pretty fair for where I live. Uh, but I uh, can't always do a full day at one or a full day at, at another. Um, or spend the same amount from video to video. So I think I'm gonna create a little series and continue this as often as I can with trying to have one similarity between the two shopping experiences, whether it be time spent or money spent, and then be able to show you. So with that, if you haven't already subscribed and you've watched this, you like this video or you've watched some of my other videos, please hit that subscribe button, it means a lot to me. Um, and also the like button means the world to me. So it uh, definitely shows me that you're enjoying the content and that I should continue doing more. So with that said, I'll link my posh closet and my Instagram below in the description and let's just jump right in. So the first one I um, am doing, the concept of this haul is I only had an hour to stop by the LA bins this weekend. I was actually visiting family and I was driving through and decided to stop, but I only had an hour. And so I decided to also in the same weekend stop by regular Goodwill. And so this is just comparing one hour at each, what I found um, and some of the challenges I faced, which I did, I did face some. So with that, I'm gonna show you the first few items from the Goodwill store at normal pricing, and then I'll jump into the bins fine. So uh, this is a Free People. It's a sweater and it's not all the way closed. But I thought this was just a really unique design, very pretty colors. Uh, I looked for holes, I couldn't find any. And Free People, this is a size large, which is a great size. Free People is definitely hit or miss, as I'm sure you've seen multiple people talk about. But their sweaters, their jeans, uh, some of their items still do really well, especially if they're kind of unique. And um, so I thought this was a great pickup. The average cost of goods at the store uh, that I went to for, I got six items, was $6.71, which is a little higher, but I did get some pants. Some of the sweaters are marked a little bit higher, and um, I think it's still worth it. So this next one is a LuLaRoe, and this is a duster cardigan, so it's very long. Just can't show everything all in the same picture so it's got some front pockets it's a beautiful color which i really liked i actually found a few of these i think a lot of people are finding a lot of lulu row at their thrift stores right now due to if they're out of business or going out of business or in a giant lawsuit something along those lines but i thought that the color of this was beautiful and classic and uh so i thought it was worth picking up because i have heard people say that the dusters do pretty well still but not every item from the brand is doing well so um, that I think is a great one. It was a size medium, which is also a good size. And cardigans are great because they can kind of fit multiple sizes. So uh, also, as with all my videos, I try to disclose what I am expecting to get. In the last video, I definitely got lots of comments around pricing. Um, some that thought they were crazy and some that thought they were spot on. Uh, pricing is up to your business model. Some people like to do quick flips and they're wanting lower, um, they're, they're just not wanting to hold on to things for a while and so they'll they'll have a lower return and they're fine with that. For me personally, I would rather hold on to something for three to six months and, and store it because I, I do have that system in place and um, hopefully get a little bit higher price point. With that said, all pricing is a guessing game. And also sometimes, as you'll see with this next item, uh, it's, it, it's also style specific. So certain brands may do well, but a certain style might not do well. And so comps are, are, are interesting and tough and definitely not a guarantee, 
but I try to share with you what I'm hoping for. And if you wanna take in consideration that maybe 25% of them won't sell for that price or something along those lines, I, I definitely understand, but I like the transparency and I hope you guys do too. So this was a pair of jeans that I've never found and it's mother and it's kind of, hopefully you can kind of see. So uh, I was excited to find this. The hard thing about shopping in an hour at any store is that for me, I like to look up comps and really take my time to make sure that what I'm buying is gonna have a good return. Uh, when you're under an hour and you're under that pressure of how much good stuff can I find in an hour, then um, you might not be able to look up comps or me personally the way I would want to. So with these, I saw the brand and I didn't even look up comps. I've seen a number of Poshmark sellers talk about this brand and I was excited to find it. It's got this really cool zipper detail at the bottom. It's got the raw hem on the bottom and the mother jeans have this kind of M in the stitching on the back pocket. So I was excited to find this, but when I did come home, uh, the comps weren't as great on this as some of the other colors. White might just be a harder sell. So the Free People wool sweater blend that I, I showed first, I'm hoping to get about 35 for that. The LuLaRoe, because of the comps and this item and a similar style, I'm hoping to get about 35 for that. Uh, these, some of the mother jeans can go for much more, but I'm only really expecting to get about 40 for this. They are in good condition. Everything's already been washed and um, it still need to be steamed some of it. But uh, so it's not a bad return, but I guess I was kind of expecting mother to be a little bit higher and this particular color didn't do as well as some of the, the others. I was really excited to find this for the first time. And this is another one where style definitely matters when you're looking up comps. I use three different sources to look up comps. I use Poshmark, the sold listings, not the available listings. Uh, there are some videos uh, that, that people have showed how to look up comps. I will make one someday. I just haven't had time to do it. But uh, I do look at the sold listings under Poshmark. I also use an app that El Ducho Denali told me about, which is called Completely, that she uses for eBay. And then I also use a website called sellhound.com. And uh, all three of those can provide different experiences and different kind of comps. Um, but this is the Birkenstock. This is the Batula. And I think this is the lower end of the Birkenstock line. However, so when you just type in Batula, Birkenstock, the comps I think were approximately 20 to 30 dollars and if you just stick with that then you, you 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 know that's that could be your strategy is just simplifying it that way but with these i knew the color the type of leather it's not the shiny but it's like the the raw leather on the black part the color um i knew that this was a more desirable birkenstock so i decided to scroll through on all three of those options and try and find comparable of this exact style and what i found was the comps were higher than just the average Average for just Birkenstock Batula so and I hope I'm saying that right so with that comps are definitely uh, never a guarantee sometimes it does pay to do a little bit more digging uh, but sometimes it's easiest just to use a website kind of like Sellhound or uh, completely and just look at the average and um, either way you choose to do your business is is totally fine uh, but with this item I thought they would probably be worth more they are in great condition um, and they're a bigger size or I would keep them. They're ladies 11, men's nine, uh, just classic Birkenstock. So with these, I'm hoping to get 45. Again, a little bit higher than the average, but based off of the style, I think it will do, uh, get me something around that. And then this was another free people. And I, I probably, if I had more time, and looked up comps, but I was really rushed. So I gave myself an hour of shopping and then you know, about five to 10 minutes to kind of quickly look up any comps that I absolutely needed to look up. But I was def definitely in a hurry both times. So um, this is a free people, we the free. It's a size small. It's just a lightweight kind of sweatshirt material, black jacket. It's got three fourth length sleeves. I'm drawn to black. I, I, I love wearing black. 
Um, however, with free people, the the kind of more boho style tend to get a higher return. So I'm not really expecting too much for this. On a good day, I'm hoping to maybe get 25, 28 for this. Uh, it is, you know, classic, but it's not really the traditional free people that I think a lot of people are searching for. And then the last item from the stores, this is the first time I found a Disney piece from LuLaRoe. It's an extra small. And this is just, uh, and, and I'm not sure of the styles, I will definitely look it up, but the dress, short sleeve dress by LuLaRoe, it's got this really cute, I think it's Minnie Mouse Disney print. Uh, I personally uh, have mild panic attacks at any Disney type of affair or Disneyland. Uh, it's a lot of people. And so I'm not a huge Disney person. If they maybe cleared it out and had like one fourth of the amount of people, I would probably like to go. But I know a lot of people really love Disney stuff. And this is another item where if you just look up LuLaRoe dress, the comps are going to be relatively low. But if you look up the style, in this case, this Minnie Mouse um, Disney print, these actually did much better in this color, in this style. So I'm hoping to get about 45 for this. Um, so that's the store and six items. Average cost of goods was $6.71. I spent a, a total of $40.24. Um, the expected sales total um, if I got everything that I just told you, it would be $228 after fees and after cost of goods, it would be about $142. So not bad for an hour's worth of sourcing, listing for me, uh, photos, listing, storage, all of that. I estimate about 10 minutes per item. So another hour to get these six items, you know, through that kind of processing um, aspect for me, you're looking at about two hours worth of work and not a bad return. So, um, and the stores, you can kind of just target the areas, which I like. So the bins are a completely different story. I love the bins. If you haven't watched any of my bins hauls, um, I'm a huge fan. I'm not close to them. I'm two hours away, two and a half, if you include the roundabout time that I need to take my dog to uh, daycare. So it's a five hour trip for me in one day. So I don't get to go that often, but I have been trying to do about once a week and I think it's worth it. However, if you're only stopping there for an hour, it's hard, it was hard for me. I've never just stopped there for an hour. So I did get, uh, I spent $27 and 26 cents. I got 19 items, nothing mind blowing, a few good items, a few that I probably would have left behind, but I was rushed. So with that, these are a pair of Marmot men's plaid shorts so this is the brand and these were a good size 36 so I thought these were just kind of a classic pair and I know this brand as well I own a number of pieces for hiking and snow um, it's definitely not a cheap brand so I just picked it up didn't even look at the comps was like yes well, when you're in a rush and you don't look up comps, I'm only actually expecting to get about 20 for this, and that would be on a good day. Uh, some of them were as low as 15. So not as great as I would have hoped, but it was rushed, and that was the point of this video. So this next item was a pair of Paige, and this is the newer label. Uh, someone actually uh, that, that has shown this newer label and said it's the newer label is three thrifty sisters she's new to youtube um if you it's the number three thrifty sisters i think i'm hope i hope i'm getting that right um but she's awesome she's very knowledgeable she just started a youtube channel and she has uh, taught me that this is the newer of the page labels so definitely check her out if you can but i thought the zipper detail the gray skinny was great and uh, they were a slightly smaller, the zipper on the ankle, I wanna say 25, so relatively small, but I'm hoping to get about 28 for these. I'm very much in the spring summer mind, even though it's raining and snowing at the moment <laughs> outside, uh, but that's gonna creep up, and if you don't have inventory prepared, then you probably will miss out on some sales. So I'm definitely, Picking up a lot of stuff like um, anything swim related or shorts or that kind of stuff. But this is just Hurley um, board shorts. And this is a size 29, so a little bit smaller. It's a phantom line. 
I liked the color, uh, but I'm another one that I'm definitely not going to get much on a good day. I might get 15 for these, um, but at least I'll have some stuff for people to buy. This one, I quickly looked up comps. This is LL Bean and it said size 12, but this, this is not a size 12 for women's. This is definitely not a size 12 for men's. And um, so I, I'm assuming they're boys. And when I looked up comps quickly, all I typed in to, I think completely was LL Bean camo pants. And the comps came back quickly, very good. I think they were, you know, 35 to 50. I didn't type in boys. And when I got home and I typed in, did a little bit more of an accurate, um, the boys don't do as well. I think it'll still sell uh, maybe 15. But Again, that rushed aspect is not my favorite when sourcing because I, th I personally have a lot more bad buys. This top uh, is standard James purse. And this is just a little white button down. Uh, when I did take it out of the wash, I did notice that there is a faint stain. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up. I hope that's picking up. And so with that, I know I've sold this brand a couple times, only really expect about 15 to 20, but with that faint stain, if I can get it out, uh, I'll probably hopefully get about 15 for this. That is a very expensive brand retail, uh, and people do search for it because it's one of those things that when you have one item, you might want more of them, you know how they fit, but I, I'll definitely wanna get the stain out. So I found two shirts in the same bin same size, same brand, which is LL Bean, and it's a size medium. So quickly snatched them both and thought perfect bundle opportunity on eBay. So this is just a plaid button down and then a green short sleeve button down. And so with that bundle of the two, I'm hoping to get about 25. This one, I did not look up comps, but it just was cute and the label kind of looked fancy. Again, I was rushed, uh, but it's this beautiful, you can see the cable knit detail on the front. It's a beautiful kind of lavender color, and I loved the neckline. Uh, the material was acrylic wool, polyester, and nylon, 2% others, not sure what that is. Uh, but I just thought it was too beautiful to pass up, and when I got home, this is another one, not great comps, so on a good day, I'm hoping to get about 20 uh, for that. I think it'll still sell, hopefully if I get it listed sooner rather than later, but um, definitely not a, a designer or anything like that. This is my first time finding this brand, which is Rock Revival. So funny story about this, I think I saw in one of my very early hauls in July or August, someone showed Rock Revival. And for some reason, the next time I went to a thrift store, I saw Rock and Republic and I thought it was all one and the same. So I started picking up Rock and Republic. Needless to say, I have a couple Rock and Republic in my closet that still haven't sold since July. Um, not the same brand. <laughs> so, and not the, not the same return that you're gonna get on your investment. But this is a pair, these kind of remind me of the Miss Me style, so very embellished on the pockets, kind of the, the white stitching. And then these are a boot cut. And I didn't give it a good look. I was kind of excited just to find this because I think it does well. It's size 30, a net boot. And um, I didn't give it a good look until I got home and I realized that there is some wear. So that's gonna bring down the value. Uh, these can go for quite a bit still, at least what I could see on the comps. So I'm really only hoping to get about 25 to 28 for these just because of that wear on the bottom, which I'll obviously disclose. But still, it was a good brand to find since I hadn't found it before. This next item is Rag and Bone, size 28. And these are the Capri style. So they have the uh, Capri kind of raw hem and then some distressing on this knee. This is definitely compared to the other Rag and Bones that I have found a thinner jean, like lots of stretch and thinner. Um, so it's cute. But, and, and the comps are actually pretty decent on this, so I'm hoping to get about 40 for that. This next one was another one, didn't look up. I own this brand, I like this brand, a lot of outdoorsy people, just a classic Columbia piece. The size was intriguing to me, 
Um, so you could just kind of see it's a good size. I'm assuming uh, it's men's. Oh, wait. Yeah, 42 wide. So I'm assuming it's men's or something, but it's just kind of a green outdoors hiking pant. And uh, the comps on this were not great, so I'm only expecting to get about 15 for that. And this dress, I debated very quickly because I had no time, is Lou and Gray. And I know someone commented last time that I wasn't holding up the labels quick enough. And I guess that's because I'm trying not to have too long of videos. But um, I appreciate that feedback from anyone. So thank you so much for positive and uh, feedback like that because it's definitely helpful, especially if given in a nice way. Um, so this is just a long sleeve gray. You've got the drawstring waist. I'm just drawn to gray. I, and it's a size small, so I can't wear it, but it's just a classic. I'm not expecting much for this, maybe 15, uh, but again, I was rushed. I would say half of the items from the bins I wouldn't have gotten if I hadn't been under that hour crunch time. So if I had more time to look up all the comps and really kind of thrown more back, um, but that was part of the fun of this. So this is a top shop and it's a size eight. I thought this was perfect for spring and summer, just very nautical and um, it's just a little spaghetti strap dress and got lots of stretch, it's just cute. I'm not expecting much from this either, hopefully 20 um, with the right season coming up. This is uh, a brand that I had to look up and because it's in cursive, it's, it was hard for me <laughs> because I was uh, rushing. So I think it's called Bugatachi. Uh, and I quickly looked this up and found out it was sold at Nordstrom. I think the retail was somewhere between 100 and 200 for these kinds of shirts. So even though the comps were not, I couldn't find in a very quick search anything in just plain black, I decided to give it a shot. Uh, based off of the comps, I'm only expecting about 15. I think some of the other prints and styles uh, of that brand do a little bit better, but probably if I had more time, I wouldn't have taken it. And this one is uh, what I thought looked like a designer label, and it is, in fact is, it's a very expensive, it's just a black um, kind of semi-sheer, it's got some beading detail on the neckline, very pretty, very classic. And uh, my quick search was like, yes, this is high-end designer, some of the stuff from this designer, well into the multiple hundreds. Uh, this particular item, I'm only hoping for about 25 to 28, but still um, love learning about new brands, which is a great thing about the bins or really any thrift store. This was a fun one. It's a men's tee with a really fun print. But when I saw this little logo, I thought maybe it's something. And this little logo, and it says pretty green in very funky graphic. So I decided to give it a good look, or not a good look, a quick look on comps. And this brand also does really well for men's. Really well meaning I think a lot of the items were between the 25 to 60 mark. This print, um, hoping to get maybe 20, but some of them did go uh, a little bit higher. So. Good brand to know about for men's and I'm definitely picking up more men's stuff these days. This was a cute little hat and it's gonna blend in with my shirt, but and I I can't wear hats because um, my head I feel like is a little bit bigger, but that might help give you <laughs> the look. So I saw this in a bin and I've already washed it if you're wondering why I just put that on my head. Um, I saw this little symbol and then inside this little symbol. So I quickly looked it up. Uh, it, it's it's Scala, Scala, and um, I'm only expecting to get about 15 for this, but they do sell and it does seem to be a sought after hat brand. And then this is the last item I'm planning on reselling. I do have two mystery box items. This is just a little Eileen Fisher. It's just a size large black sleeveless dress. It's kind of a cotton material. Um, really classic and perfect for the upcoming season. So I'm hoping to get about 28 for that. So I did find two items that might go in upcoming mystery boxes. 
And by the way, uh, I, ha I did sell a couple, and if you are interested or have uh, sent me a message, I think what I'm gonna do is when I get enough uh, boxes together, I think I'm actually gonna do a video, uh, not so mystery box, and have them listed under A, B, C, D in my Poshmark closet. And that way you can actually maybe choose a box that you like most, if not all, of the items in it. And I know a lot of people have a hard time getting out and sourcing in their areas, so I thought that might be fun stay tuned i'll have to collect enough items to make it worthwhile but this is a pair of zara woman skinny jeans blush pink i've noticed does pretty well on poshmark and so i thought this was a good pickup i think they're size six and then this is a little made well long sleeve even though it's long sleeve and turtleneck it's size medium um it's lightweight so it could definitely carry into spring or even if you're somewhere like San Francisco in the summer um, where it's a little bit cooler, it could work for that. So in total, I spent $27.26 on 19 items at the bins. Average cost of goods was $1.43. If you haven't watched my videos before, my uh, bins that are closest to me are the LA ones and they are $1.99 per pound. So I definitely don't have cheaper bins. I know. Um, many other areas have much cheaper. That is not mine. So most items, the average cost of goods when going there is about a dollar to two dollars, depending on if I get a lot of shoes or whatnot. Um, the expected sales price for these items is three hundred and sixty-two dollars. If I were to get all of the, not including the last two mystery box, if I were to get all the prices that I quoted you, and after fees and cost of goods, it would bring me about. $262.34. My review on this uh, challenge, um, I personally, if under pressure of time, I did not enjoy the bins whatsoever. I think it, it takes me time to kind of get in my groove at the bins, kind of fig feel out like which bins have been picked over, which ones they're wheeling off, which ones were relatively recent. And so it was, it was a harder bins trip for me. I just felt very, so much pressure and I couldn't look all these things up. Probably would have only gotten half of this. Now comparing after fees and cost of goods, $142 for the six items or $262 for the 19 items or 17 if you remove the two mystery box items, it, it would give me a higher return. However, like I told you before, I approximate about 10 minutes per item to go through the whole process um, to get to storage, you know, photos, listings, storage for me. And 17 items versus six items would take me almost triple the amount of time. So even though I would have a higher return on the sales price of the bins, I actually prefer in a shorter period of time to just go to a regular store. So bins, I would say four to eight hours is perfect for me. One hour, a just frazzled mess. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this style of video, like I said, I will continue to do this as a little series. And if I can, you know, in a similar time frame either compare time spent or money spent of the two locations. Uh, I'll definitely show you what I found and what I felt about the two trips. And yeah, so also uh, I think I'm going to publish this on the day after Christmas, but this is Christmas. Uh, my family is celebrating on the 27th, so this is kind of a normal work day for me, but I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas um, or Happy Holidays if you do not celebrate Christmas. Um, hopefully something in this general time frame of the year is spent with family and friends and loved ones and that you're all enjoying lots of good food and treats and all of that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.